gen game. For instance, look at the texture of the terrain. It's kind of flat, and only when you start to get a little bit closer does it start to pop in with the textures and the tower. <coughs> In a world where two men and one couch have come together to bring you the most exciting thing you've ever seen. It'll be comedy, tragedy, and a little bit mystery. It is the Ido Couch Potato. Scientist goes away in the helicopter. Do you think they're going to hybrid the Gigantosaur with uh, another creature instead of making it... Because the Gigantosaur was one big scary mother effort. You mean the Indominus? No. No, no the Verizon in no. Saurus. When, no. <laughs> what I thought was when I heard that they had the two dinosaurs combined to the hybrid, I thought it was T-Rex and the Gigantosaur from the third movie. Mm -hmm. Oh, Spinosaurus. No. Gigantosaur. All right, so obviously they came out, and you know, you know we've all been asking for it. So Last Guardians, who was talking about it first? I was you, it was you? Okay. So Last Guardians, obviously we saw a little bit of it, but it was just kind of, you know, cinematic. We didn't get to see that much of it. Now we got some gameplay. What do you think? I thought it was fantastic. Yeah. You know, I, I honestly... Alrighty, back up over here. We'll go... All right. Crash Bandicoot, The Wrath of Cortex. Who developed this title? Don't say the first name. <laughs> well, I know that Activision published it. No, it's not one of the newest. It's PS2, I'll give you that. Is it my turn? There we go. Hey everybody, this is Kevin with Deadly Operative Runs Gaming at the local Meridian GameStop where we are doing a exclusive Batman Arkham Knight release party. Tonight we're doing a little bit of a raffle. Yeah, Ooh. we're doing a uh, $50 or you could win a $25. If you're really good at Batman trivia, you could get yourself a $25 gift card. Have you or someone you love died because of a camper? Well, here at C.S. Wellington and Company, we feel your struggle. Have you spent countless hours trying to hone in on that kill only to get shot right in the face? Well, here at C.S. Wellington and Company, we will take your case. We will win or we won't get paid. We're pretty poor, so we'll give you a free t-shirt. That's true. <clears throat> How many takes is it going to take? Um. X3 Productions. Some of you may all already know. Already know. I'm getting there. I'm getting further. Hello, this is Nick. Hey, hey, yeah, yeah. I was getting further. Oh, it's my hair. It looks fine. Yeah. Okay. Well, I mean, I like it. It's messy. I mean, it's not like all sticking up or anything. Yeah. Action. So we're going to have some new people, new segments, and a brand new shoe. Blah, 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 blah. Shoe. Sorry. <laughs> Alright, today we're going to start off with play by play and headlines. We're going to move on. This is our new segment where we talk about video games. Video games. We can do it. Then we're going to move on to... What? Should we have a little... Uh, clip. <laughs> We're also going to be talking a little bit about retro games. Blah, 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 blah. Mm. Let's talk about. Um, How about moving on? Yeah, moving on. I, have I said that too much? Um, <laughs> it would be if you did it again. Okay. Brrr, okay. And. If, if, look, just all off or ah. Sorry, man. <laughs> <laughs> Chill out. <laughs> Is it recording? <laughs> it's recording! Oh, crap. Hurry! That's pretty good. I like it. <laughs> Enough about me. Let's get on with the show. I heard you heard about it. <laughs> Son of a bitch! <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. I heard you heard about it. Let's get some energy. Ready? Yeah! Get some energy. I'm excited! I'm excited. Ah! And Jack's right. You know, there's these. He's Roten. Roten. 
he's writing, he's writing a bunch of books. Oh, he, <laughs> I didn't know what you meant. He's writing, writing a bunch of Oh, God. Okay. Um, but he, that's all for... <laughs> Sorry. We could have been done by now. We probably could have. If you'd stop messing around. I'm just kidding. All right. Can I start this time without you laughing? I guess. Your hair looks stupid. Your hair is sticking up. Does so. it really? <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> what did I say, Ashley? Jimmy? Yes. Okay. Why does it matter, Ashley? So Ashley, Ashley. <laughs> All right, here we are with our new segment, A Woman's Perspective, where we get one of our girl out there. Take two. Tell her, tell. No matter what, she's going to be in the shot. <laughs> her toes are in the shot. That's true. Uh, are you sitting up straight? Sit up straight. Okay, that's good enough. Um, are you about center? Yeah, that's good. <laughs> Right? Get all the deep dog. Okay. So with the, the retro games here, it, one of your big complaints is that there's a lot of them in a cat. <laughs> <laughs> he just jumps up next time and just snag him. Like, hello. Being that, uh, you know, that difficulty. Hey! Shut up! <laughs> She's gonna start. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> so now it's dog be dog be baby? Yes, dog be dog be baby. This is our love child. <laughs> and I can just like lay her right here, right behind this. <laughs> and there. Oh, put your arms down. Obviously we have, um, here's all my figures, and we have a couple of little power discs down there. Um, Previously on the Deadly Operative Grunt Show. You know, Destiny 2.0 is actually doing a lot to make the experience better. I know. I'm thinking about rebuying it. I wish I was in your situation. The toy video game industry is an abomination. It's a viable source of entertainment. Ah! All right, and now we're gonna go on to our next segment, Triple Threat, where we have all three of us. Well, I guess we need to get Jake in here. You ready, TJ? Are we using our dark powers? Just this once. Okay. Ha! Ah! Ah! You ready, girls? You ready? Huh? <laughs> you ready? Give a nice big smile. Nice big smile. There you go. <laughs> hey, this is Nick, aka The Wyler from Deadly Operative Crunch. Here with me is. I'm Ashley, aka Baby Bear 19. I think you have to do the side, honestly. Or just, just rip it open. Through. Yeah, just rip it, sorry. Sometimes I talk. Okay, so this first. Anybody? 9692. Once. 9692 going once. Twice. Three times later. 9733. Three. Nine, seven, three, three. Yeah, All right. there we go. Winner. winner, winner, chicken dinner. All right, Call of Duty Black Ops Declassified for the Vita. Nine, six, nine, six. And the six and nine, the six. Oh, there he is, he's right there. Give me a duck to get started. Okay, MLB The Show for the Vita. Nine, seven, three, three. Nine, seven, one, three. I probably should have put the mic up to you. What'd you say? Nine seven one three. Nine seven one three, everybody. 
everybody, everybody, come on in. Let him in. That's number one three. No. Come on up and collect your prize. <laughs> what is that? You're just encouraging me is what's going on. Hey, this is Nick, a.k.a. The Wyler. With me today is... This is TJ, a.k.a. No One's Prey. And this is a uh, live episode of the Deadly Operative Grunt Show. Three? Okay, that's kind of cool. All here in the local area? Uh, oh, really? Where? Did you make this? You did? Okay. Um, how'd you get all the components together? Like that. So I didn't really get too far into that one. But I got the gist cause of it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so <That hurt> a <laughs> has kept its fat princess charm and I absolutely love that. So first off, let's talk about graphics. Now the first one was very cell shaded. There we go, I got it. <laughs> my bubble shot. There we go. You look less like a Sith Lord and more like a Russian grandma. <laughs> Alright, so we're here to do a little uh, review of Star Wars. Don't worry, no spoilers. We were very clear about that. Uh, oh, God dang it! I'll edit it, it's okay! <laughs> <laughs> anyway. <laughs> share a nice fun story um i met batman now before you go oh you met christian bale no oh you met um george clooney no oh you met did i say val kilmer no val kilmer no val kilmer these days looks like he ate batman <laughs> no i met batman from uh, Batman Origins, the video game. And it was really cool. Um, this actually happened a little while ago, but I just, like, I video games, I want to share it with you all. Um, but went up to his door, uh, knocked on the door, and he came out. Like, the second I saw him, I was like, this guy looks familiar, you know? And so uh, we get in the cab, and, you know, I have that moment where I tell him, you know, God, you know, you just look really familiar. And he totally played it off like, oh, yeah, I have that kind of face, you know, because like, uh, like he didn't know if I was like a gamer or something like that. So maybe maybe I was just anyway. So he's like, oh, you know, I have one of those faces. And I'm like, where'd you go to school? And so finally he had to say one thing. And then I acted like a schoolgirl. <laughs> OK. He said, well, are you into video games? And I am a cab driver. You're supposed to be professional. You treat everybody the same. And that did not happen. <laughs> We're driving down the street. I'm coming up to a stop sign. He says, well, do you like video games? And I, I whip around and I'm like, you're Batman! And he's like, yes. He just starts laughing. Thankfully, he was very humble. It wasn't like, oh, my God, mother. <laughs> you know? Um, but I, I whip around. I'm like, you're Batman. And he, he's just. And so we get to talk. And he talks about how he was in um, Paris when they were having the reviews. And I'm like, yeah, this guy, Paris. Oh, I wish I could go to Paris. <laughs> Anyways, and it was just, yeah, it was a really cool experience. I mean, it, it was one of the lesser known Batmans because it's not like he's Troy Baker or um, Nolan North or who's, who's the original guy, the, the one that all the other Arkhams. <laughs> this one was Arkham Origins. So, I mean, it was one of the lesser Batmans of the official Batman trilogy. It wasn't even technically that. It was actually made by somebody else. It wasn't a rock steady Batman. So anyways, but it was cool because he also played like Ezio from the Assassin's Creed. So yeah, I saw him on uh, Up at Noon and that's how I recognized him. So what the were you just like picking him up at a hotel or no it was at a house um i don't know if it's like his mama's house or <laughs> summer house or something and i drove him to his car um so he could go pick it up because he had a fun night 
Fun night here in Boise. Boise, Idaho. Uh-huh. All right, so we are here to talk about video games um, and the anticipation of... Turrets upgraded? Man, I just do not get what to do. TJ. And we're the host of Idaho's premier talk show about video games, movies, and nerd culture. The Deadly Operative Crunch Show. Or at least, you know, the first one's advertising on YouTube. That we know of. Make them laugh, make them laugh. Don't you know all the wild wants to laugh? With lots of segments coming in the coming come months. And lots of coming segments later. <laughs> and lots of new segments. <laughs> okay, do they look super red? Because and lots of new segments in the coming months. Then we start over again. <laughs> That's enough. It's never enough! <clears throat> Triple threat. Uh, but otherwise, let's get started with our hardcore, poor, I mean, Henry. <laughs> Coming out on March, April, April 8th. Or is it? Might be just a cruel joke. They only did the commercial, and then April 8th <laughs> comes along. It. April Fool's, yeah! The Battlefront. Homefront. Homefront, right. This is a good video game, not a bad one. Uh, don't, even don't even look at me. Don't even get me started on Battlefront. That is... I warned you, I tried. <laughs> I know... Hey, this is Nick, a.k.a. The Wyler. Here with me today is... This is TJ, a.k.a. No One's Prey. And this is a new segment, and we like to call it Dog Talk. Dog Talking. Dog Bark. <laughs> Speak, boy! Roll that beautiful intro. The Deadly Operative Grunge Show! Oh, yeah. Um, so to start it off with, uh, Ashley, my lovely wife. Everybody has to know. Um, so... Hey, you're creepy? Yeah. Hey, this is Nick, a.k.a. The Wyler, joining you one last time for Before the Summer. So, for all of us here at the Deadly Operative Grunt team, thank you for watching. And we are feeling squirrely. Alright. Just keep it rolling. Start taking down the ring. Have the we'll have the credits going in the background. Just like alright, grab a grab a couple of them. That one was a full 40 minutes long. Yeah. It was funny because we started going through favorite moments, and I'm like, God, is Nick gonna talk about everything we've done? Does he have a moment that's not his favorite moment? No. <laughs> this has been so fun. Everything's been really amazing. Shamazazing. All right, life up. Do you need me for anything else? No. Find the right laugh just for you. Ha 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 And who could forget? <laughs> but don't just take our word on it. Just ask our ghoulish customers. Before the Slasher's Guide, I always tripped over my feet. Couldn't even catch up to the smallest child. But thanks to the 10 minute a day workout, now I'm running as fast as the fastest jock. Thanks, Slasher's Guide. It is 
Definitely worth it. <laughs> You know, what have you guys been playing? Let's start with TJ. What have you been playing lately? Doom. Lots oh and lots of gosh. Doom. And I love it. it is Would you glorious. say that you've been having a hellish of a good time? <laughs> uh, all puns aside, yes. Uh, I've been no, taking it slow. All puns aside, I would agree to that. <laughs> Operative Grunt Show. The Deadly Operative Grunt Show. So we'll go so first with the other one with the hand crossbow. This one? Yeah. And Critical failure. His hand crossbow breaks. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for breaking stuff. <laughs> All right. The other ones are going to try to attack you with their disadvantage. Let's see if they're going to do. Let's see. Your AC is twenty-one. Right? Yeah. Miss, of course. <laughs> uh, he drops his. Drops a sword? Yeah, his uh, hand crossbow. <laughs> <laughs> the other one broke, so. <laughs> <laughs> These guys are horrible fighters. <laughs> one breaks and one drops it, and the other one's just like. <laughs> 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 chop, 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 chop. Okay, oops, sorry. No, 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 no. <laughs> I'm grabbing the dirty dish. Next one's tomato. Jinx. Okay, I'll wash this and then I'll grab the pot. Get out of my way, people! Get out of my way! <laughs> there we go. Uh, and that needs to go off. It's getting too hot. You get the tomatoes out. Oh shit, what am I doing? What am I doing? Come on! Ah! Chop, there you go! From Canada all the way down to New Mexico, no matter where you're from, it's a great time to be a nerd. Recorded right here on the interweb. <laughs> kind of screwed up that last part because I'm like, I usually say this is Boise, but <laughs> it's kind of not true anymore. <laughs> so, hello everybody, this is Nick, a.k.a. The Weiler, and here with me today is... Uh, Nate, uh, a.k.a. Six Sticks. All right, and I would like to officially welcome the newest member of Threat X3 Productions, Nate. Congratulations. What up? What up? It's your boy. 
It's your boy. It's your boy. It's your boy, Nate. Six sticks. I'm so stick in my six. There's six of them, and they're all they're all thick. It, okay, we'll go. We'll go with that. We'll go with that. <laughs> ah, going mad dash, mad dash, mad dash. Yeah. <laughs> Screw you, officer. Going mad dash. Whoa, no! Oh, jeez. No mad dash. No mad dash. Ah! Take it off whenever you're ready. Ooh, take take what off? Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> Hey everyone, and thank you for tuning in to Hope County Radio, a Far Cry podcast. I'm one of your hosts, Nate, and with me as always is... Nick! Hello there. Hello there. Hello there. Hey, what's going on, guys? Hey everybody, thank you for coming to the very first episode of Nerd to the Third. Your stop for video games, movies, and everything in the nerd culture. Today we're bringing you the power of three with Nick, Nate, the ever-rotating third chair, the always illustrious Coach Smith. My friends call me Coach. <laughs> I'm not Coach, by the way. I just thought I would throw a Coach impression in there. Uh, I think you went a little bit over the top of the introduction, but I really appreciate it. No, oh, you're welcome. Uh, illustrious is a bit of a strong word, I feel. <laughs> the always a donut in his hand. Is that better? That sounds much better. That is it. Okay, he always has a donut in his hand, but you don't know want you, you don't want to know where the hole went. <laughs> oh God! <laughs> What's going on, everyone? And welcome to the very first episode of Ubi Chat, a Ubisoft fan podcast where we cover everything under the Ubisoft sun. I am one of your hosts, Nate, and with me, as always, Nick. Yes, Nick. Uh, It's very early for us, so we both have that little bit of gruff in our voice, so hopefully that'll stay around for the rest of the show. You never know. Give you something good. (laughs) Give you some of that good, good. Yeah, you're drinking your coffee in your car, I see you. Yeah. (laughs) One hand on the the wheel, just (laughs) chilling, like I got to do. Hey guys, this is Nick from ThreadX3 Productions. With the release of Dead Cells and We Happy Few not too long after it, got me thinking about these type of games. There's other games like Rogue Legacy or Chasm that was just a few weeks ago. And let's not forget No Man's Sky that procedurally generates an entire galaxy. And it just so happens that an update just came out that completely changes the entire game. And it's definitely worth checking out, even if you've played the game before. There are so many other games now that are procedurally generated. And this got me thinking. This is Thinking About Things Procedural Fun. Many games are using the buzzword procedurally generated. Hey everybody and welcome back to Nerd to the Third, your stop for video games, movies, and nerd culture. Episode 17. Today we're bringing you the power of three with your host, Nick, Nate, and the ever-rotating third chair, the best part of the best Fast and Furious movie, Drifter. Hey, good to be here. So I mean, not that you need to, but typically I go, hey guest why don't you tell people where they can find you and what you do well you can find me by typing in my name which you probably see in the title of the episode drift zero r zero is in the numerical zero and that'll pull up most of my stuff twitter youtube twitch it's all pretty much just slash drifter they're 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 rough uh i think i actually put the last jedi at the very bottom below the prequels Ah. take, take that back take that back Attack of the Clones at the bottom, then The Last Jedi. I agree with that. Yeah. Um, let's get started. Hello, everybody. This is Nick from Threat X3 Productions founder of Threat X3 Productions, and today I'm doing a thinking about things sort of, but it's more of a very personal thinking about things, and so that's why I decided to go with the camera rather than the voiceover over the uh, videos. So um, 
Basically, I wanted to say thank you to everybody who has been joining us. Um, we have officially gotten over 200 subscribers. Now, to a lot of people, this is just going to be like, okay, 200 people. Like, why do we care? We shouldn't care. Well, the biggest reason why this is such a big deal for me and why I feel like a good weight has been lifted off my shoulder is because in 2018, we were never able to get over 200. And it was definitely starting to drain on me and the team. And it was just, it was kind of like this little thing. But it really wasn't that bad. But now three and four. Like now that's when she just decided it's like, you know, if I don't like it, I'm just going to sit on the floor. <laughs> yeah. yeah and, and the only policy is to walk away and realize to make them realize that it doesn't work. But uh, <laughs> yeah, as their little personalities come out, it's uh, it's the, the father is the one who is easy, more easily manipulated. Mm. Uh, yes. And then later the mother comes into the target line and, and, uh, and, and daddy gets much more kind of, you know, and you have to be careful when you're when you're divorced because they'll work you one against the other. <laughs> exactly quite, right. Quite cleverly. <laughs> if you're married to, uh, but it's easier for them to do it if you're divorced. But they live in town. I see a lot of her, and and we have a, a fantastic relationship. And I'm just deeply, deeply proud of her. Yeah. She's an amazing kid. Super sharp. Hey everybody, welcome back to Apex Legends Hubcast. I'm your host Nick. Here with me today is Justine Huxley. And Justine, who do you voice in Apex? I voice Watson. <laughs> All right. It's so glad to have you on the show because um, you're somebody who actually responds. <laughs> <laughs> I I have I've tried to get other people on the on the show. So far I got JB on there. He's a nice I listened guy. to that one. That was a great podcast, great interview. Yeah, yeah, I really liked it. It was just fun. He This is crypto. I am taking over the broadcast now. Whoa, that was weird. Oh, hey, we have somebody here with us today. Everybody, please, we introduce you to Johnny Young, the voice of crypto. Hey, what's up, everybody? I would love a pizza. Uh, I would love a meat lover's like, I, I, I'm just making this up, but they, they'd be like, I would love like a, a meat lover's pizza without the sausage, without the pepperoni. Uh, can you can you take out the bacon? without the cheese and very little sauce and extra crispy, please. I'm like, so, so you want bread and, 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 and pasta sauce? No, no, no. I want a meat lover's pizza without the sauce. <laughs> and I'm like, you got, you got it. And then you, know, you, you got it. And then ma'am. Computer, bread, bread sauce. And then, and, like, and then I'd bring it to them. They're like, this is amazing. I'm like, you got it, <laughs> or like, oh, no, uh, it, it would be really. I mean, I, I didn't have problems with that. It, 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 you know, I would have. It'd be a little confusing at times, but it would be hard when, like, you know, when when customers don't understand that, like, other some types of foods come out quicker than others. So oh like, yeah. Mm -hmm. I ordered before this table, and I'm and I have to try to explain to them while I'm trying to attend to like seven other tables. Right. And, and, um, you know, and they're trying to argue with me and I'm like, I don't have this, I don't have the time. Like I don't have the time. Like I, I'm, I'm trying to get your food out. So. <laughs> Hey everybody, this is Nick from ThreadX3 Productions, and I'm here to do a review on Hunt Showdown for the PlayStation 4. Battle Royale meets Bounty Hunter thing. There is still some Left for Dead in it, but it was mainly about that PvP with a little bit of PvE as well. I was really interested. TRDS is a game where you relive Death Stranding, only instead of Hideo Kojima mind freaking all over the screen and calling it art, this one uses quirky physics and shoddy collision, then calls it an indie game. Instead of Norman Reedus and the unborn fetus, you get a plumpy man or woman that can win in a twerking competition without even realizing they signed up for it. This copy was provided by Tiny Build, but let me assure you, this will not alter my thoughts on this game whatsoever. I have standards. Now, 
back to the review. This is the greatest game I have ever played. There is nothing wrong with this game. I wish more games were like this game. And, and others that were not this game were this game. Game of the Year 2020. Give me money. If you let it, this game will make you cry so hard from laughter or yell at your screen for your character to just do what you say. Here is me trying to get into a cannon. I'll speed it up for time's sake. Three days later. <laughs> hey everybody, welcome back to Nerd Radio, your national nerd net radio direct. And welcome back to Weekly Nerdy News. I'm one of your hosts, Nick. Here with me today is... Fuck! Hi everybody for the first time. How's that going? <laughs> hey everybody, welcome back to Nerd Radio, your national nerd net radio direct. And welcome back to Weekly Nerdy News. I am one of your hosts, Nick. Here with me today is... It's Nate, back in an actual like kind of permanent setting. Did we have to do this? Is everyone ready? Are we ready for Nerd Radio? Your national nerd net radio direct? Are you? I don't think you are! I don't know. I, it feels like they are. I mean, you screamed in their ears, so I would, I would hope that they yeah. are. Welcome to Jerry Nary News. Welcome back to our channel. Before we get started, click the subscribe button. Turn notifications. Give me your thumbs up. Okay? That sounds a little suspicious, doesn't it? It's magic. It's done. <laughs> I'm going. It sounded a little suspicious, doesn't it? It's... <laughs> He's standing behind him. It's magic. Well, lucky that's there, then. Ah, yes. The camera. I love you. Uh -huh. And your wife? Disappointing. What the fuck? Where the are, are we gonna start? The, the fact they're that taking you went away to my past as an example. <laughs> they're taking away my past. I want to marry my sister. Damn it, she's a hot piece of ass, and I want her. Okay, I want her good and hard. God, someone <laughs> please clip that out of context. Please <laughs> clip that out of context. I am begging you for the love of God. Please. Death Loop is a game where the main character Cole, not that one, is stuck in a death loop. <laughs> He said it! He said it! Until one fateful day he decides to go for this and wants to break the loop. But I really would have liked to see a more diverse cast than three people from SpongeBob, three people from Avatar, and three from Ninja Turtle. Like, like seriously, you're putting in three, 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 three from Turtles? And on top of that, the third is April. April how you should be fighting back or even where their weak spot is located too many precious seconds are just spent trying to determine what is coming at you before it just attacks hang up corporate needs you to find the differences between this picture and this picture intel has told us there are at least seven okay i already see one given okay they're the same picture. He sees an opportunity to turn these people who are just, you know, hoodlums, ne'er do wells. How often do they well? Ne'er. And it's like, this is the antithesis of this goddamn series. Pointless. Really fing good. Really fing good production value, but fing pointless. And then it comes out, and I went, I literally was like, oh, and it happened, and I was like, oh. 
like I like spazzing. Ugh. From the fight, elbow drops from the top of a building. Oh, what a feeling! Damage competition with special moves that are vicious. Uh, to be the last one standing in a shrinking ring is the goal. No holes barred, winning is everything. That's where you find Nick and Nate. Nick with a luchador mask. Nate's a hipster, no debate. In the rumble verse, you got a brawl. That's the only way, even though some escape just to brawl another day. Ow. Good, good. We needed the establishing shot of people walking. Oh, no! No, Neil! Get out of the way, Neil! He totally slowed it. Oh, I dropped it. <laughs> Dylan. D oh god, we needed the reaction. We needed to know that he saw the card. <laughs> you bastard! I'm out of here. Did you hear? Did you hear the? You bastard! Like the little water drop. I'm out of here. Oh no, I gotta go back. Listen you really quick. Did you hear it that time? Just a little bit of a water bottle. <laughs> what was that? I think that was supposed to be the water.